two black men are up here, in your case, you're defending Colin Kaepernick now. In my case, I've defended Colin Kaepernick on numerous occasions throughout the years. I'm talking about the Mike Wilbons, the James Browns, and everybody in between. Black folks all over the country, all in the media, everybody speaking up on behalf of Colin Kaepernick. Right. But Colin Kaepernick. You the one person that don't have anything to say. You step aside while brothers and sisters who know that you were right to want to address police brutality, who know that you were right to want to address racial oppression, who know that you were right when you say that you didn't deserve to be blackballed and you didn't deserve to have your cause politicized. All of us are fighting on behalf of you, but right, you I, are the one that won't speak up for yourself. Do you right, have a problem I, with that? Well, I think the thing is, in the black community, like I said, I'm in, I'm in the streets. I, I, I hear what's yes, going on. Yes, you are. On. Yes, and you the are. And the thing is, is, I think, Stephen, that you have a platform. It's okay to disagree, but it was the way you were going about it. It was almost like you were attacking him. And I think the thing with Colin Kaepernick and the way that things shifted right, you know, right at the, the – the doorstep of this workout is just the transparency. Um, you alluded to uh, to, the, to the document. Um, as, as that related, I mean, as, as, as I was referring to it with the document, the, the waiver, um, again, like I said, when you insert language into something that's not standard, then obviously you have to take time to review those documents. And like I said, they weren't given adequate time to, to do that. And so to now insert that and then think that he was going to sign it right at the doorfront, then that's that's not a fair you giving him you know if you're going to give him a fair workout then give him a fair workout you know he had he was allowed no well, media access T T he they were trying to dictate time out, time you know, out, time who out. his receivers were i have this to stop you there other. i have to stop you there i am on the air right now listening to a hall of famer who i believe has had a multitude of opportunities to highlight unfairness that has been exacted from him did that stop you from accepting the challenge, knowing that you were walking into situations that were flagrantly unfair, that you were operating behind the eight ball at a disadvantage, courtesy of a system and an entity that obviously had a lot of power and influence to compromise whatever your aspirations were. You do it, I do it. There are people that sit up there, you ain't the only one that accused me of attacking him. I would ask you to recall what I said. What I said is that, I have been supporting this man. What I didn't support was you sending, not you, meaning him, mm -hmm. sending the message that everything has to be ideal and everything has to be fair in order for me to embrace the challenge to acquire what I have been behind the scenes through my camp telling everybody I want. If you don't want to work out, that's fine. If you think it's unfair and you want, and I know, Max, you want to get in, I'm going to bring I you do, in. Yeah, yeah. And you want to, and you don't think it's fair, that's fine. And you want to get your lawyer, and your lawyer wants to stand up there and say, this waiver is an issue. We are ready to work out, but not until they alter this waiver, et cetera. That's different. But to not do the workout, to change locations, and then to go and give a speech to the media mm -hmm. without taking any questions, any inquiry, as to what's really going on, you are leaving others to surmise what the hell happened. Can I, can I, and I don't that think real that's quick? fair. It's, Tio, it's do, you mind the, if I, do you mind if I oh, jump in, Tio? Yes, I prefer you do that. But go ahead, what go I want is it's transparency, Stephen A. And that's like, like I've done it. I've had incidents throughout, throughout the course of my career. And then there have been times where I've, try, I've gone into interviews where I've done an hour and a half, two hours of an interview. And then they break down and they edit. And then you guys get on, uh, get on the show and there's a panel of people. And then they break down whatever clips that they show. They're mm -hmm. not showing the entire hour and a half or two hours of that of that interview that I've done. So what he wanted was transparency for people to see the full workout, to see the full Colin Kaepernick. Again, you, you mentioned obviously Max is going to get in here. And like I said, I'm in the streets. Max almost seems blacker than you, Stephen A. Eh? <laughs> with 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 what time he with with he's time coming, time you know, with his commentary. Tom, with all due respect, my brother. You <laughs> I'm just you saying, dog. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm just I'm a, saying. I'm gonna check you right now. You don't cross. I'm the line. just saying. Tom, Tom, Tom. Wait a minute. You don't cross the line. <laughs> First of all, like I said, you, Colin Kaepernick, <laughs> Eric Reed, any of y'all 
that want to debate me in front of black people and talk about what's best for black people, name the time and place, I'll show up. I don't want to hear, what's the definition of blackness? Is there a definitive definition of blackness? Why are you giving the impression that because I don't march lockstep with every single thing that Colin Kaepernick wants. Okay, excuse me. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I'm not agreeing. I'm not agreeing with everything that Colin Kaepernick has I, done. I, I'm not saying that, but you said, but okay. you just sat up there and used an expression, more blacker. Excuse me. I'm from Hollis, Queens, New York City. More black. You ain't the. You ain't the only. You ain't the only brother out there that's in the streets. I'm in the streets well, every day. I get it. And I'm a, a matter. Of, so let's be very clear. And you damn well know that's the truth. And so my point to you is this. Again, I'm not going to disrespect you. I'm not going to go that route. But based on just what you just said, this is supposedly Stephen A. and T.O. going at one another. Did you know that I invited Colin Kaepernick to give him this platform for the entire two hours? I said, you can edit the damn show. You can have it live. We can talk wherever you want to talk. The floor is yours. I also gave that invitation to Eric Reed. I know people at other networks that has given Colin Kaepernick that same thing. They disagreed with him to some degree. Are you questioning their blackness, too? Come on, man. That, no, there's certain things that's like crossing said, the line. Dude, that's, that, I mean, you're taking it as disrespect. There's no disrespect. There's no disrespect just, to that? No, not a dude. It's tongue in cheek, but at the same time, like I said, like I said, I'm in the streets. Like I said, I hear and what's going I. on. And as I said, like I said, you don't have to agree. I don't totally agree with some of the things that I, as I te as I texted you the other day. He could have articulated to or, or expressed his thoughts better than he did in the interview. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.